Taylor Swift might announce reputation tonight. Taylor Swift's website is glitching, I just saw. If you unscramble the letters, it says red airing. Look at her, she is serving. Hello guys. Cheers. It is Grammy's day and it's been a hot minute since I have filmed anything and I didn't wake up until noon because I've been traveling for the last two weeks and so today was supposed to be my rest day. But when Taylor says Reputation might be coming out tonight at the Grammys, we don't have time to rest. I have been waiting for this one. Of course we have our Taylor's version coffee cup because I woke up to a dumpster fire today of everybody saying that Taylor Swift might announce Reputation tonight. Now I wasn't sure, I mean I feel like a lot of people had theories that she would announce it at the Grammys, but there hadn't been any signs. And this morning her profile picture went from Midnight's to a black and white cover of Midnight's. and. Taylor was active on Tumblr this morning. She didn't like anything, but there was activity on her page, meaning she was scrolling through Tumblr today. She hasn't been on Tumblr in like four years, mind you. Maybe even five years. That's not a coincidence. And then I also saw people posting this picture of this black dress with a gold snake on the back that Taylor could be wearing tonight. And then I also saw a silver sparkly dress with a bunch of snakes on it that could be Taylor's dress. Dress. So we will just have to wait and see. I have a feeling she's gonna wear black because she's been wearing black to like all the other award shows trying to hint at reputation coming next. So of course I had to go all reputation today. I think there was only one category that wasn't the main categories that Taylor was nominated for. She did not win for best pop duo group performance. She was nominated for Karma featuring Ice Spice, but SZA and Phoebe Bridgers won that one. So one down, five more to go. Also, a few days ago, Taylor unarchived a reputation post. I don't know, that's definitely not a coincidence, but that could just be my clown brain talking. So anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup for today. Um, also, I don't think I told you guys, but I dyed my hair brown. I just decided on a whim because my hair has been blonde for four years now. I think. But truly, my hair has been dying because of how much I've bleached it in the last few years and I just needed a little reset. I think this is the closest to my natural color I have ever been since I first dyed my hair. But as you can see, it's kind of like a lighter brown color. Not quite dark brown, but it's a much darker color than I had before. I was very excited to get my rep merch out. This is literally like my holy grail of Taylor merch. This is like one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from the official merch store which is the olive green cropped long sleeve sweater and so I am very excited to see what she's gonna do for the reputation Taylor's version merch if it is anything like this which this era was the best merch I will say it reputation had the best merch ever I don't know what was in the water in that era but Taylor killed it with the merch it was the first time she came out with merch that was very subtle and very stylish to wear on a day-to-day -day basis that didn't just have her face all over it. So Taylor is nominated for Best Pop Duo Group, which she lost already, but then we have Best Pop Solo Performance, Antihero, Best Pop Vocal Album, Midnight's, Song of the Year, Antihero, which is a very important one because she has never won Song of the Year, even for All Too Well 10, she got snubbed last year, and this award is just for the songwriting. I can't believe out of all of her 12 Grammys, she has never won this award award, which is a songwriting award, record of the year, and album of the year for Midnight's. I think the five other Grammy noms that are left for her are going to be televised tonight, but we will see. There is a pre-Grammys award show where they announce all of the, like a bunch of the categories that aren't aired on television. So this week is a big week 
big week for the Swifties. Of course, we have the Grammys tonight. And then she goes to Tokyo to start the Eras Tour 2024. The Super Bowl is next Sunday, so there is a lot happening. And then, of course, the question of will reputation be announced at any point during this week? And then she has, like, I don't even know how many hours to fly from Tokyo to Las Vegas to go to the Super Bowl, but I definitely think she's going to do it because she is literally superhuman and she has a private jet. But even the Japanese American embassy, I think it was, put out a statement saying it is so possible for Taylor Swift to make it to the Super Bowl because, wait for it, the flight is 13 hours, Japan is 17 hours ahead, so literally like she could leave and then four hours later be in Las Vegas to see the Chiefs play. I literally can't believe the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl again. It's literally just fitting that they are both literally having the biggest day of their careers within a week of each other. And if that ain't the invisible string. Also, I'm sure you guys have seen all of the crazy number theories and just like the power of Taylor Swift voodoo. This will be her 13th Grammy win tonight. And the Super Bowl is on February 11th. Two plus 11 equals 13. This will be her 13th Chiefs game that she has attended. I feel like there's more numbers but I've just forgotten some of them. Anyway, there's just a lot of stars aligning for the week. Do I attempt eyeliner? Because that will be a deciding factor in how well my day goes. <laughs> it's always a gamble, but I think we're gonna try it. First attempt, not going well. Okay, so we've got it. It's not my best work, but it is what it is. Also, Taylor Swift's website is glitching. I just saw right now. It's all black. What is happening? I don't even know when she's walking the carpet. The red carpet, she's usually like one of the last people. And right now it's like 2.20, 2.20 p.m. The Grammys are in LA, so I'm on the same time zone. Okay, I have to hurry up here because I literally can't. Okay, we went in with some glitter just because it is still midnight's night tonight because of all of the Grammy noms that she has. Okay guys, here's the final look. I got some sparkly eyelids, rep sweater, gold hoops. We are ready for the Grammys. Um, I'm currently at my parents' house because I don't have normal cable to watch. It is raining pretty hard outside and I feel like that's very reputation of the weather to do. Can you believe the elements know that Taylor is going to be announcing rep today? The power of Taylor, for sure. Okay, let's chat about reputation, Taylor's version, because I feel like it's been a long time since I've talked about the re-recordings. But let's chat about what just happened. The glitch on the website, if you unscramble the letters, it says red airing which means like like a false lead. And so it's like she's using that kind of to distract. Also, UMG changed all the photos on their actual website to black and white. If this isn't happening, then she is truly just messing with us to the fullest extent. If we're clowning, I am taking full responsibility for it. But Taylor Nation liked a tweet about the website code not being an actual error. They're gearing up to switch the website over, not to mention that Midnight's that she is nominated for tonight came out in 2022 and it's 2024. Could we be receiving a brand new album this year? Because it's been two years since the last one. There's a lot of questions I have that I guess we'll see if they are answered tonight. But my mom just informed me that the red carpet is happening right now. So let's go watch it. Okay, this just in. Taylor has been spotted. I'm gonna react to the video here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's wearing white with a black collar and black gloves. Oh, there she is! She's on the TV! Ah! Oh my God. She's got a braid. She's got not the dresses that we thought it was going to be. Who is, oh, that's Lana Del Rey. They're black and white together. Oh my goodness. Here she is. There they are. Not what I was expecting at all for what she was wearing. She looks timeless, classic. So apparently Taylor is the last to arrive, question <laughs> mark. Oh my goodness. Look at her, she is serving. Okay, so it just started. Dua Lipa is performing the opening song. I am so excited. Also, Taylor is wearing a clock necklace, probably obviously for midnights, but like, doesn't mean anything. Olivia Rodrigo is also looking very nice tonight. Love her dress, very classy. Billie Eilish winning for the Barbie movie, which was well-deserved. Taylor! Where 
is she though? <gasps> there she is! There she, oh, she's got a fan. If Taylor wins, first artist ever to win album of the year four times, beating Stevie Wonder, Paul Simon, Frank Sinatra. She's that girl. Best pop solo performance. Who's it gonna be? I think Taylor Antihero is on this. Miley. She she could probably she could probably win this one though. Oh, flowers. You know. Okay, Taylor's clapping for Miley. As an OG Hannah Montana fan, I will allow it. <laughs> Congrats to Miley. Here we go. But we driving, driving in your car. I yes, Taylor. I'm alone. I yeah. This is the song from the Barbie movie. What was I made for? Ooh. I can buy myself flowers. Oh, there she goes. There oh, there's Kelsey. <gasps> My queens. Olivia is up. She is singing vampire. Clean me dry like a god vampire. Oh, best pop vocal album. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, Kelly Clarkson, I didn't know she was nominated. Is Taylor gonna win? Oh, Ed. Midnight. Oh, this is, there's a lot in this category. Yes! Oh, did they do their handshake? Oh, there she goes. Oh, 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 she's clapping. <gasps> she's so bejeweled. Oh my God. Here she goes, what's she gonna say? Okay, this is my 13th Grammy. Ah! Yeah, it is. My lucky number, I don't know if I've ever told you that. <laughs> um, I wanna say thank you to, um, but I know that the way that the Recording Academy voted is a direct reflection of the passion of the fans. Woo! I want to say thank you to the fans. That's me. By <laughs> telling you <gasps> a secret <gasps> keeping from you. Oh my god! She totally went midnights on us. <gasps> the tortured, the tortured poet, the tortured. I literally can't, I can't speak. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? What? Oh my! Oh my god! So no reputation. Oh my! No reputation. <laughs> the tortured poets department. April nineteenth. Oh my god! New album. Reputation is not coming out. She had us. She had us in the first half. And so I enter into evidence my tarnished coat of arms, my muses acquired like bruises, my talismans and charms, the tick, tick, tick of love bombs, my veins of pitch black ink, all's fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, the chairman of the to tortured poets department. What the heck? Guys, I'm not okay. And what happens when she when she wins album of the year, then what? I literally said this morning that the new album's gonna come out this year. I literally said that. New album? New album? What is she gonna do for the Eras tour? Is she gonna add an era to the Eras tour? No way, no way. Do you see these tears in my eyes? I'm in line to check out. 41 minutes to buy a CD. 27 minutes away from checking out on the Taylor Swift store because so many people are trying to buy it. Collector's edition deluxe CD, the normal CD, and the vinyl. There's still literally so many more categories to get to. I think this is song of the year. The only one Taylor hasn't won and it's a songwriting award. Everybody agrees. Oh, you know what? Honestly, that's fine. If Taylor was gonna lose to any of those songs, I'm glad it was that one. It was a cultural shift for sure. Record of the year, here we go. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Miley Cyrus. Is this the album of the year? Celine Dion! Oh my gosh, my camera is literally gonna die right now. Are you kidding? Come on, come on. Woo! Oh my god, look! <laughs> Yay! Jack and Lana joining Taylor on the stage. Here we go. First artist ever to win album of the year four times. The only woman. speculating that like because they noticed it was different like color scheme a little bit and they're like guys it's a brand new album it's karma <laughs> it's karma i don't I'm like i think that theory's gonna be retired you know maybe not i think it'll just always be there there's just too much evidence that it exists whether or not she comes out and says it this is the longest title ever so the long. tortured poets department it's a tongue twister do you think she's like been teasing some like this like, we're gonna have to dive back in and watch all of the videos from Midnight's. Yeah, right? Two years. That is literally, like, that's, that's like, 2022 and 2023. The timeline is confusing. Yeah, she was totally clowning us with the black and white thing. But what does red herring mean again? It just means, like, a distraction, like a decoy kind of thing. Misleading. Wow, I really thought we had it in the back. <laughs> I can't wait for this track list. Oh, we only know what the bonus song is called. Manuscript. The manuscript. That's so, like... Wait, I'm gonna Google that. A book, document, or piece of music written by hand rather than typed or printed. Ooh, An author's text that has not been published yet. It almost means like an unedited, raw version of something. It's February. This comes out in April. That's like, she's yes. never had anything come out. Well, I guess Fearless Taylor's version she's, came out in April. She's on a break in April. I looked. Okay. The only album that's two words is Speak Now, and this one is four words. TS11. I wasn't even thinking about TS11. We ran out of fingernails. We ran out of fingernails. We're gonna have to start using our toes. <laughs> We're gonna have to bring the dogs out. Okay guys, so it is the next day after the Grammys and I just wanted to give you my last thoughts and reactions from last night. I feel like I always need to sit and process before I can fully form opinions and whatnot. And I've seen a ton, a ton of these theories floating around on TikTok, Twitter. I'm sure you guys know most of this already, but I just want to talk through some of the stuff that has come out since Taylor announced the new album, The Tortured Poet department. I really have to think about it every time I say it because I keep wanting to say the Dead Poets Society or the Tortured Poet Club. Like I literally, it's gonna take a minute to get it through my brain, but it comes out April 19th and everybody was thinking, that's such a random day. Why did she choose April? What not? And you know, as Swifties do, they are detectives and they Google and they look and research whatever. April 19th, is not only National Cat Lady Day, but it is also the first day of the American Revolution in 1775, which you might just think like, oh, that's random. But then one year ago, last year on April 19th, Taylor had dinner with Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. And immediately after that dinner, they both unfollowed Joe on Instagram. That was like the start of the revolution or something. Because we all know the American Revolution was against the British. Who's British? 
known as the shot heard round the world. And I feel like when Joe and Taylor broke up, it was kind of like that, you know, crazy news that everybody heard about when it happened. And, you know, everybody was talking about it when they broke up. And for her to choose this day is wild. Very unhinged of her. The second thing I want to talk about is the red herring, which was the website glitch. And all of the other little Easter eggs that were pointing towards reputation were actually to distract us and keep us busy while Taylor was planning a brand new album and she has been so good at misleading us over the years before all of the re-records she was throwing out all kinds of Easter eggs to confuse us to not let us truly know the timeline of when everything was gonna be put out um, this happened with midnight where we all thought she was gonna announce reputation Taylor's version and then she goes and announces that she has a brand new album midnight so I just can't believe this didn't click in my brain that this is actually what was gonna happen because now the pattern is two re-recordings, new album, two re-recordings, new album. So I think for the rest of the timeline, we're gonna get this new album in April and then we're gonna get the final two re-recordings afterward. So we only know one track title from the album and that is The Manuscript. And last night I looked up the word and we saw that this was kind of like a handwritten first draft of a story or a poem or anything like that. So what I think is that, you know how Taylor has her different pens that she writes with? She has the glitter gel pen, the ballpoint pen, and the quill pen. And I feel like this album is fully written with a quill. I think it's giving folklore evermore. I don't know, like poetry, like literally the lakes. I, this is why I wore this today, the Windermere Peaks, my lakes crew neck, because in her little prologue, she talks about the muses. One was the last time she talked about poets and poetry in the lakes. Take me to the lakes where all the poets went to die. She's taking us to the lakes. And then the other thing in this little prologue that she posted, there are some words that are taken straight from the lyrics of Hits Different. So this first line, it says, and so I enter into evidence. And then we've got the line, again from the bridge of Hits Different, I trace the evidence. And then if you look at the product photo of the deluxe CD of the new album, it says artifacts. And again, in Hits Different, she says, I find the artifacts, cried over a hat. I don't think that is on accident either. My tarnished coat of arms sounds very much like the Great War. Also connecting with this whole American Revolution theory. My muses acquired like bruises. We all know that Joe was her muse for six years. My talismans and charms, the tick, tick, tick of love bombs. Tick, tick, tick. That is obviously giving the clock, midnights. There's gotta be something else there. My veins of pitch black ink. So I think this is, again, this is literally just like pure poetry, lyrical, deep meaning, hard hitting lines here. This is what runs through her veins. Constantly creating art, the ink is like her blood. The words on the page is what gives her life. And then this is my absolute favorite part of this, all's fair in love and poetry. And that is giving anything I write about is fair game. That is literally the definition of being a writer. Because if you don't write, the raw, honest truth without caring about what other people are gonna think or say about it, then you are not fully stepping into your potential as a writer. And this is her saying like, I have always done this. I have always written the truth no matter what people say. This is my experience and my writing. This is her livelihood. All is fair in love and poetry. And I feel like Joe knows that, obviously, because he is also a writer. He helped write songs on Folklore Evermore, Midnights, like throughout that era. I feel like this means you're losing me is just scratching the surface. Another thing to note that people brought up was that Joe said in an interview, or someone figured this out online, that Joe had a group chat with his actor friends from the show he was on called The Tortured Man Club. This is literally just Taylor gagging him. She wrote a whole album and titled it after his sad boy group chat. That's iconic. Just the word tortured, like it's so on the nose, yet 
just like so clever. Okay, one last theory the internet has come up with is that this album is going to be a collaboration album. I feel like this is a theory we have talked about before. We haven't been correct so far, but the fact that the title is called The Tortured Poets, plural, department, and when you think department, you think that's made up of multiple moving parts, multiple people, and Taylor being the chairman of the department means there could be some other people involved, and this would kind of go well with the other theory that a bunch of Taylor Swift's friends have all changed their profile photos to black and white like she did. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, if they all know something that we don't, but I'm curious to see these little Easter eggs hatch throughout the next two months. Um, lastly, what kind of album is this going to be? I don't know if it's gonna be the classic synth pop. I did say Midnight's was going to be something closer to Folklore Evermore, and it ended up being 1989 Lover Reputation Part 2. And so I am curious to see if she will continue to evolve her sound or continue with her synth pop party girl vibe. I'm really hoping for some ballad slash instrumental instead of like the really produced synths. I feel like we need to strip it back down a little bit, but more on that later on. If you want, I will do a full video about my predictions for this album and for what is to come for the rest of the year. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I just quite literally can't believe this. It's wild. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.